We're here at Hamcation at the Flex Radio booth, and we're going to talk about the brand new Tuner Genius. I keep calling it an Antenna Genius, but it's a Tuner no, Genius. No, the Antenna Genius is something else. It's <laughs> something else. Okay, okay. So Michael's going to tell us all about the Tuner Genius today, which is their newest product right here. I'll get some close-up shots here in a minute. So thanks for taking the time today, and go ahead and uh, okay. go for it. So, okay. so the Tuner Genius is the latest product from uh, Flex Radio. It's a full uh, two kilowatt, you know, plus tuner hands, handles ten to one with ease. Uh, it's rapid. In fact, we probably I think I saw some new firmware come out that we haven't released yet, but it's even quicker. Uh, it comes in two models: an SO2R, so it mates well with like a 6600, a PGXL. Uh, and then the tuner, and then you asked about the antenna genius right. after the two byte antenna switch. It works with flex radios, it works with OEM radios like uh, ICOM, Kenwood, Yesu, Elecraft. Uh, so it can take CIV input in the back, it can take uh, Kenwood CAT data, Yesu BCD data, and of course, if you do it in the flex world, it's a very simple LAN cable, as you know. And <laughs> yes. a lot of cables yes. go away. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so I really love that. Uh, it has the ability, it's an automatic tuner, you just hit it a little bit of power, it wants about 20 watts minimum, okay. just beefy, yeah. and yeah. then it, um, uh, it'll tune. I did start to say it comes in an SO2R model, yes. single operator two radio, but it also comes in a one by three, so you can hook up just one radio and have three antenna ports on it. Okay. Okay, and it's, um, so you have to order in one or the one other, or the other. Okay. Um, okay. type of thing. I do get asked if we're going to make that module available. That's okay. asked okay. me in a year. Okay. That, yeah. But if yeah. I push and hold manual tuning, we've got three knobs here that allow me to adjust the capacitors on the in and out. It's a, and uh, as well, uh, you know, we can like, you know, you can see me adjusting the inductor here. Let's, you know what? I'm going to get in trouble. Let's take the plastic off. <laughs> yeah, take okay. the, I took the, the plastic wrap, off. The new wrap off. You know, here's the capacitor. And then you do it while it's in transmit. And you right. see the SWR. Right our drop uh, type of thing. Uh, it's built 403 tough. Okay. Okay. You you can attest to this. You can yes. drive a truck over this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, bypass operate and then tune. We'll put it in tune with flex radios. Okay. In OEM radios, the process is a little different. Yeah. And. Um, uh, that's about it. Two okay. kilowatts, and if you're doing a remote, it's it's an awesome addition to yeah. a remote station. So, so if, it, if so, on the version that has three, on the version that has three pow power outputs or three antenna outputs, okay, not the SO2R, uh, the other one. So, if I wanted to say, because we did a, set, a setup similar to this at Winter Field Day just a couple weeks ago, if I wanted to put three radios on one antenna. Because I have a tri, I got a triplex here. I have a hex beam. Okay, so it has an element for 10, 12. We didn't use 12 and 17, so we use 10, 15, and 20. Is the is there filtering in this to account so that there's because we still use bandpass filters even after our triplexer because we were getting harmonics because the, because it's all on one antenna, right? The the, uh, the the elements on the hex beam are like a foot apart from one another, or less than that in some, in some cases. So how, does does the filtering account for all that? Well, if you are that close, you're going to get bleed over okay. anyway. Okay. So in the SO2R model, uh, there is bandpass filtering that okay. goes with it. Okay. Uh, but you, I think you said three radios on one antenna. You meant the other way around, right? No, three radios oh, okay. on one antenna. Okay. I had, oh, you had the triplexer. I had the triplexer in between the three radios and the and the hex beam, which was running three bands, right. but but three separate radios. So yeah, yeah. you're just gonna no matter what, you're gonna get <laughs> you're some gonna... feed through because you might have about 60 dB of isolation. Right. That's still right. a lot of isolation. Yeah. But it still doesn't mean it's going to make it go away. Okay, okay. okay. Especially so. not if you're running 1,500 watts through all yeah. three bands. <laughs> but, uh, you have to keep yeah. this in mind. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. so that's uh, cool. <laughs> the cool thing about it. But there's okay. a lot of options. You know, if you have yeah. any questions, you're going to go down that path of antenna design. Right. Write us an email at info at flexradio.com. Okay. And I'll get, uh, usually I bring uh, uh, Dan Quigley in to help with some yeah. of those because yeah. he's pretty okay. good. Dan sitting here beside us listening, <laughs> and uh, and we'll go through it. You know, every okay. every station's a thumbprint. Everything's different. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. every environment is different as well. And um, so. what I often ask people to do is tell me what you're trying to do. Yeah. Tell me what you're what you're not trying to solve. You know. Yeah type of thing yeah. and we'll go from yeah. there okay and if it's not going to work we're going to tell you yeah because we yeah. want you to be successful yeah. cool all right well you guys have a good show thank you for taking the time out and uh, flexradio.com go check it out today thanks everybody thanks a lot